Um, you know, it sounds it sounds a bit sad. But music is music is is my only hobby for the most part. I mean, when I'm home, oh, we always were a band that it's always if we get home from tour for for two years straight, we'll still just go in and write music. And we have we have uh, the convenience of of having our friend's studio that we've been recording at since we were 16 years old around the corner from our houses, basically. So whenever we decide we have something that might be worthwhile, we can end up just going there and recording it. And uh, God, that's all that's all we do for the most part. I mean, all of us in the band, it, we, we get home, maybe we take a week off and, and reconnect with our friends and family and stuff like that. And then we can end, we end up writing music and going to play and, and we could record for about a year, year and a half, and then we end up going on tour. And it's kind of been that cycle for a long, long time now so um, I haven't had much time to myself to do anything else I tried to pick up surfing this summer because I live down the block from the beach but uh, I'm just kind of learning how to swim still so it's gonna be a little bit maybe next summer but music's music's all I got right now for the most part Now all I think about is, is Bonham. It's all I think about. Great. I think he's the greatest rock drummer of all time. Um, when I was growing up, it was Lars Ulrich was, was who I wanted to be because of the double bass. Um, but of course, there's always there's always drummers, Buddy Rich, Max Roach that that I always got into. There was some CD that that I bought that I never knew existed. I just randomly found. I'm sure it, everyone probably knows about it. I just didn't. Uh, the Buddy Rich, Max Roach CD, when they split the speakers up and they, they kind of duel the whole time and that's what got me into that. It was like four or five years ago I got that. Um, but man, for the most part when I'm recording or, or, or anything, those... John Bonham is just someone that I, I love more than anything. So, I mean, we'll have to go with him as being the main dude for sure. Uh, I think we're going to record again. I think, I mean, this we're doing this tour. We've been, we've been out for about two months, so uh, we're going to go home after this for the holidays. January, we're actually going to play Wembley in, in London, which is really exciting but daunting at the same time. And uh, we're doing a little Australia tour to get there for the record. And then the whole time while... You know, again, the whole time while we're home, if we have a month off, I'm sure we'll just be recording and seeing what happens. So we don't really know. It's kind of exciting. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take some. We're, we're definitely gonna focus less on touring and uh, try and figure out how to do this a little differently because we've been we've been touring nonstop for about ten years. So um, we're gonna try and, and rearrange how how this band is going to be what it is kind of on a different on a different level so we're not really sure yet but I'll let you know when I know <laughs>